Hi, uh, welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how I made this Bombay ring with some text engraved on top of it. It's scalloped on the inside to make it lighter. So I'm not actually going to make it um, live. I'll just go back and show you what I did. So I'll just hit Ctrl Z all the way to when I began. So I started with the ring rail and then I created a curve um, to be able to use curve from two views which is over here. So this represents the angle I want the Bombay ring to bend so that when I <coughs> apply that command this ring rail bends according to this line and it's still keeping the same uh, diameter. So now that I have this I will just mirror it over to the other side. Mirror command is over here. Once I've mirrored it over, I can now use sweep from two views. So that is in the surface menu, you find it here. Sweep two rails. Um, I then need to create a profile. So I created a, a profile that I put touching the bottom of the ring rail and continued to create just. Um, profile that I want at the top and then just simply do a two rail sweep on that and then obviously I wanted to scallop it out so what I then did was I duplicated it and moved it down once I have it here you see it's overlapping with my original one so that won't work you can't just in that out I used the taper tool to make it more narrow from the side angle right from this angle here so you have it like that, and then I go down to tapering it. What I then need to do is create a block to remove this bottom part here. So I use Boolean difference to delete the bottom. Yeah, And now I can use Boolean difference, the big one minus the small one, to get the big one emptied out on the inside to make it a lot lighter. Now for the text tool. It's a fun tool to use, easy enough. You go to the T over here, which brings up the menu, and you can just write whatever text. It's now set to windings. That's how I got the yin yang symbol really easy and quick. Um, I find that a nice way to be able to find symbols. But if you changed it to something else, hopefully now letters will come up. See? Um, so I wrote piece with impact font and just bring that up. Now I want to be able to engrave it at the same height all across the surface of this ring. Therefore, I need to Boolean difference the letters minus the ring. So when I do that, I get some surplus here that I just need to delete. But when I do that, you see now the bottom shape of the letters follow the surface of the Bombay ring. So that when I bring that down half a millimeter, which is a good sort of engraving size, half a mil, 0 0.3 mil. Um, can I do Boolean difference? It's all the same depth, the lettering. And then I, I brought out um, the yin yang symbol. Same thing, just use the text tool to get it up and the winding font. And now I just need to move it um, to place it, bring it down again, Boolean difference the ring out so I can get the curvature of the surface on the item that I'm using to engrave with. And then Boolean difference, delete the original and here you are. So that's a quick little tutorial, uh, five minutes quick to show you what you could learn. After about three hours of practice with me, I'll be able to teach you something like this. Uh, Right, good luck with this, um, bye.